Back in early March, I published a video explaining how AMD will be able to produce chiplet-based GPUs in the next generation of Radeon products. I introduced the concept of a mother chiplet, which the system sees as a unique GPU, and daughter chiplets that work independently but share the R3 cache among the whole GPU. A few weeks after I published the video, a new patent was published by AMD which describes how these chiplets would connect to each other, and it turns out there's something we haven't quite seen before. So let's take another look at how AMD will be making MCM GPUs a reality. Today's sponsor, UCD Keys, has great offers on Windows Keys and now also on Office 19 Pro Plus. I've bought keys through this service myself and have recommended it to friends and patrons who have saved a small fortune compared to their local retail stores. The keys work globally and are activated very quickly. UCD Keys is now also offering a pack which includes Windows 10 Pro and Office 19 Pro Plus. Use the code C20 at checkout out to get an additional 20% off at ucdkeys.com, link in the description. I suggest you watch or re-watch that video I released in early March to get a clearer understanding of how AMD has solved their multi-GPU problem without changing the programming paradigm for developers. Basically, AMD have created a system where the host CPU will only see one GPU logic die per package, even though there are effectively two. There could be more, but looking at AMD's driver commits, as I explained in that video, it appears that AMD will only be including two chiplets in the 7900 XT. With the programming model addressed, there still the issue of transferring information between GPU chiplets. In the previous video, I suggested one way of doing this was through high-speed links in a passive interposer, but perhaps AMD has a different implementation in mind. So this configuration you see here looks somewhat similar to AMD's Zen 2 and 3 CPUs, which are chiplets based, except here there's no separate chiplet for the I.O. In my video from March, I suggested that perhaps AMD could have memory as a separate chiplet on the package, and that's still a possibility. But this more recent patent suggests adding an active bridge as an additional chiplet in between the two logic dies. So one possible embodiment of this package would imply that there are no vias from the chiplets to the substrate, like for instance in Intel's new packaging. So all the chiplet to chiplet communication would occur in this central active bridge. If the GPU were to have more than two chiplets, they would be laid out in parallel across the length of the bridge. This bridge will interface with the fire regions of the chiplets, so that's the memory controllers. So essentially this would create a routing network, and the communication would be done with TDVs, or through dielectric vias. Another possible implementation of this would see dummy silicon be placed on top of the chiplets and the active bridge, forming sort of a coating, and this piece of dummy silicon would have vias to connect to the chiplets, therefore allowing for the chiplet-to-chiplet -chiplet communication to be done this way instead. And although not described in the patterns, AMD could then stack other things on top of this, like memory. Whatever implementation is used, this active bridge could be the key to providing the GPU with coherent L3 memory access. So that is your infinity cache, which would behave as uniform memory across all chiplets. So like I explained in my last video, on this topic, one of these chiplets would be a mother chiplet and the other a daughter chiplet and the host CPU would only see the mother chiplet and be sort of fooled into thinking there is only one logic die to send commands to. This could potentially mean we would see a tremendous speed up in performance compared to traditional monolithic dies in tasks that benefit from massive parallelism. The problem is of course in the tasks where having more cores from the extra chiplet doesn't have any benefit. So if this patent and the previous one I analyzed is indicative of how the 7900 XT will work, this is what the chip will look like. Two equally sized logic chiplets and an active bridge chiplet in the middle. Now as far as performance is concerned, it's too early to say and I'll have a
another video discussing something relating to that very soon, but there are just too many factors to consider to be making a performance prediction this early. If I were to guess, I'd say it's difficult for such a configuration to provide twice the performance of Navi 21 in every game, assuming the 7900 XT is using two 6900 XT dies for example, I think a 70% performance increase on average in that case would be very optimistic but realistic. Of course, if the 7900 XT is on a new node, like TSMC's improved 6 nanometer or even 5 nanometer, then you have to add to the uplift from the extra chiplet the performance increases that would come from a new node as well. So it's possible that the 7900 XT is maybe 125% faster than the 6900 XT, or maybe even 150%. In this configuration, and on a new node, maybe. That would be a dramatic increase gen on gen, and it's possible that we would only see that in certain scenarios. But if AMD is going through the trouble of moving to chiplet-based GPUs, then surely it has to be worth it, not just financially, but also when it comes to performance. One thing to note is that if history is any indication, AMD did choose to go with very small chiplets for the CPUs when they first introduced Zen 2, so perhaps they will follow a similar strategy with GPUs and start with small chiplets. That would mean performance would increase modestly from the 6900 XT to the 7900 XT, but again, it's too early to say. Nevertheless, we saw how chiplets revolutionized CPUs and took AMD from second place to performance leadership in that segment in just a few years. Could chiplets do the same for AMD versus Nvidia? And put AMD ahead of Nvidia at least in some scenarios? Stay tuned as I'll be discussing this and more in upcoming videos. This video was made possible by my fantastic patrons whose support is absolutely crucial to keeping this channel alive. Join my Patreon today and you'll get exclusive access to the Cortex Discord server, where our community posts daily technology-related news and discusses technology in a healthy and welcoming environment. If you can't contribute financially, then please give this video a like and share it on social media as that really helps. Thanks for watching and until the next one.